Father Lord. Reason number 18. According to June 10th of 2023. False peace. Scholars teach the Bible predicts a brief time of peace. So brief, in fact, the experts refer to it as a false peace. Perspective. This teaching, drawn from Scripture, is that as chaos in the world intensifies, the desire for peace will be globalized. Not everyone will be aware of the Declaration of Peace because it does not indicate a globalization of the Declaration of Peace. But the passage does indicate a time which appears briefly to be a true accord of peace among nations, which will only be breached thereafter. The Lord declares his fury because of the prophets and priests who dealt falsely in Jeremiah 6, verse 13. How did they deal falsely? They proclaimed, peace, peace, when there is no peace. The Bible also warns there will be no peace in Israel until Jesus Christ returns. Jeremiah 8, verse 11, because even they had seduced my God's people, Israel, saying peace, and there was no peace. And in Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 10, for they have healed the hurt of their daughter, the daughter of my people, Israel. Slightly saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. And so the same pattern should be expected today. Then as we approach continued spiritual and political tensions, consider whether declarations of false peace are being made. If this spiritual shift age occurs in a thousand years, the principle remains the same and thus watch for it. Or consider contemporary history and ponder. Could the 2020 peace agreement reached among nations under Trump's leadership, including the moving of the embassy and peace declaration with Israel, be a fulfillment of this biblical teaching or part of it? It is a text of the Bible and not our own. We are not the masters of interpretation, but are called to be informed, to have developed as always learning humans thinking and being is offered to compare and contrast. Thus, among the other reasons is number 18, consider the spiritual age change that is ongoing the public banter about chaos and the political declarations of false peace the world since may 2020 and even before has been in chaos the most recent COVID insurrections are proof of that so was a brief time of peace that was declared under donald j trump a fulfillment to a new spiritual age of this doctrine of sorts or so should we look for another more chaotic time, followed by a brief peace only to be heightened in chaos? One should also note Joseph Biden winning the office of presidency, in theory campaigning as a man of peace, being a Catholic, which is a religion of peace, as an indicator of a form of false peace. President Biden being a taxpayer-funded abortions has been used like a puppet of an agenda his own younger, sharper self would not agree with. It is not hard to believe that a well-intended politician would get caught up in the weeds of social services and programs funded by the government so much so that he began to support expanded health care. The progression from legitimate health care for a mother to funding abortions in a situation of life and health for the others being at risk, the other being at risk compared to the elected, fully funded taxpayer late-term abortions and beyond is not merely a string of conscious decisions. That divergence included the spiritual one, some force which would have had to darken such a man's mind and thinking and age and health contributed through deterioration. President Biden in a geriatric state continues to support abortion as if it is his primary platform while at the same time declaring peace in Afghanistan. Thus he maintains a war in the womb and goes tree stumping around the country promoting this issue. While years ago he was pro-life and politically took action in support of social services as well. Be mindful 
politics literally means polite action or polite resolution. The implication of solving problems with and for others politely. Yet oftentimes politicians policies create more problems than resolve and create bureaucratic problems for we the people. Quite often the overreaching, overstaffed bureaucratic departments or agencies become more akin to tick and tape worms, relieving their hosts of vital nutrition due to bad policies and arbitrary standards. Certainly a sad affair to witness considering Joe Biden's Catholic faith and his declaration of being a person of peace. Let us pray counsel assist him in this state and for the remaining time of his career. His reason number 18, recorded June 10th of 2023. I'll read it written and posted on open domain February the 2nd of 2023 originally pinned to the Lee County jail system digitally, therefore proof is certain of the content of the book during my incarceration from April to October of 2022. Peace be with you till the Lord returns, takes us home.